Mid Journey have just launched their new image editor, and it's a big step up and a really fun tool. And I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna come down, I've got this image, which I created version 6.1 about five minutes ago. And down the bottom here under more, you'll notice there's editor. So when I click on more options, if it's not there, click more options and it should show up here. So this has taken over and removed things like reframe, zoom, that kind of thing. It's pan and zoom is still there, but the reframe option is gone and replaced with this editor. When I click on it, you can see already, I have some handles that I can move the dog around with and basically reposition. And across the top, we have some options. I can edit my prompt here if I want to. So if I set a fun loving dog, I can say a fun loving cat. And I can say, get this erase tool and erase the face here. Now, if I decided I want to keep the sunglasses after removing it, I can come up, click restore here, and it gives me a slight preview. So what I can do is just paint over these glasses a little bit to bring them back. Now, it's probably not gonna look like much of a cat or a dog when I do this, but just for demonstration purposes. Obviously, I have undo, redo, I can reset completely here. And also, you see the brush size, I can really crank that up. So if I really don't like this building in the background here or the sky above it, I can go to erase, got my nice big brush and erase it, or get nice and fine all the way down to get a really small brush to make changes there like that. So that is pretty cool. And we have a scale here so I can zoom out or in as much as I want. So I can zoom out just a little bit. But what's really cool is we have different aspect ratio options up here. If I click on one to two, it'll change it to more of a vertical style and I can resize this to fit how I want. I can also click this little section here in the middle to move it around. So if I wanted to bring it up to here and have a bunch in the sky, I could do that. I can actually change the aspect ratio with these handles here until I get what I want. But I can always still come back to these. We've got the landscape across the top, the portrait along the bottom with one to one on the side here. I'm gonna go 16 to nine again, resize, move my image to where I want it to be. I'm gonna keep it center, but I want more sort of underneath here, seeing some of that vegetation. So it's a pretty cool tool. Like I said, we can edit the prompt, change the aspect ratio, move things around. It's really, really cool. The possibilities with this to really take your images to the next level and to get a more intuitive editor, Mid Journey have really stepped up their game just by taking some of these existing options they have and finding ways to create a simple interface like this. And I really feel like this is a big step up for Mid Journey. So just to see how this turns out, I'm going to submit. And we've got a bit of a cat a bit of a doggish looking cat here, but I click on this one, we got our image. So that's pretty cool. A nice little update from Mid Journey. I highly recommend checking that out, going into Mid Journey, creating the image, opening up the editor, have a play and see what you can make happen. And if I discover any more, or if you find anything I haven't really covered in this very quick video, leave a comment and maybe we can do a more in depth video in the future. Otherwise have fun and I hope to see you again soon.